Hey, I thought of you, uh, Hillary, recently when I read that golf has thrived during the pandemic. And this is something you predicted on this show one year ago. Now we read that 2020 rounds played were up almost 14% over 2019. Yeah. And equipment sales yes. are up too. Uh, the golf industry seems to have overbuilt back when uh, Tiger Woods first popped and then it contracted. Uh, why is golf on the rise again, Hillary? Uh, well, Holland, first let me address what you just mentioned about the golf, the contraction in the golf industry. Prior to the pandemic, two golf courses were closing basically every single year in every state. So you had basically over, uh, well over 100, 104 to 110 golf courses closing every year. Um, however, the pandemic literally, of course, uh, it's because it's an outdoor sport. As you mentioned earlier, why RVs and boats are being sold well, it's because they're viewed as being safe in our new era of pathogens. But I will mention a couple of other things with regard to golf. 98% um, of golf courses are currently open for play, and we know that there's just a lot of other things aren't open. So part of it is the accessibility. Also, one of the things I've always said, um, a lot of people have sort of tried to portray golf as, you know, the, the, the old middle-aged lily white man sport. I call golf the great equalizer. You know, I'm a woman, I raise my kids to play golf, people I meet on the golf course, every religion, every race, every age, every gender. You know, what sport can I play against uh, somebody else who's, you know, maybe he could be a six foot um, person of color and I can hit a golf ball and I can putt just as well. So it's a great equalizer. And I think the more people that get out there are seeing this. Uh, in 2019, 441 million rounds of golf were played. This year, Holland, you're right, it's projected to be well, well over 500 million rounds. And it's the safety, it's the pathogens, and I think when people get out there, they see it's the great equalizer. We will uh, look yes. for you on the links. Hillary Fordwich, Strelmark Business Development Consultants in Washington.